Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and product profiling. Before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today is National Plumber's Day. That's right. Plumbers are very important because fluids are important, hence water. Water is important for the earth and for humans to stay alive, right? So we need as much water as we can. We need plumbers. So celebrate National Plumber's Day by laying as much pipe as you can. That's right. Lay it long and lay that pipe deep so we can keep the pipe protected, right? Lay it nice and deep. So long and deep, laying pipe, that's how we celebrate National Plumber's Day. All right, moving on to the point of the video, which is a soap profiling. This Mama Bear's Soaps. This is the first time I've ever used a Mama Bear's Soaps. Well, it's not the first time, but it is the first soap I had or have from Mama Bear's right there. It is aromatic pipe tobacco, cherry and vanilla. That pretty much says it all right there. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to give this a shot. I like Mama Bear's uh, because it actually they come with, you can purchase these uh, wooden containers right here. Uh, they get the insignia on the front that's uh, routed or I'm not sure how it's put in there, but it's textured and it feels quite, kind of nice and it's decent quality. And as you can see, you got the container right here. I put a label on the side so I can see what it is, but it's a nice wooden container that I like quite a bit. I got my soap sitting in some water in there. That's the soap right there, incidentally. It is glycerin based. Glycerin based, I found uh, soaps are a little bit different than that of the other tallow and or the cream-based soaps that I've seen and usually use. Glycerin, for me, it takes a little bit of more work to dial it in. Um, it definitely does become, it definitely provides enough slickness. It's just not as poofy for the, uh, that's, that's an actual word, poofy, uh, for uh, shaving lather, as I generally see with the other creams. doesn't mean it doesn't work well. It just kind of looks different. But from what I hear, it's the scent that really knocks it out of the park with this one. So, as far as the scent is concerned, it smells like a cherry pipe tobacco. It definitely lands it right there. If that's, you know, that's what she was going for, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, the scent strength on it is pretty high. I give this a nine. Um, my whole bathroom smells like it, and I've just been blooming the soap and, while soaking it. Um, while I took a shower, and it smells really good. I like that. I have always liked the smell on this. So, let's get right into the rest of the gear, shall we? We're going to be taking care of this soap with the dogwood handle here love this love this brush and a synthetic knot right on top of that we're going to be mowing the face with our hybrid parker handle and mule r41 head today's blade is a blade i've been using a couple of, i have used a couple of times it's the first time i've ever used this lavas right there i don't know much about this company i, I think they're russian um i've used I've used this is the only blade I have with them and I've used it a couple of times I found it to be pretty smooth so I'm going to use it on my head today now after the shave I do not have any pairing aftershave with this particular soap per se so I'm going with ha ah, I love this decanter look at that decanter that's a badass decanter right there this is from black ship grooming it's got uh, captain's pipe in it which is also pipe tobacco scent so this is actually going to match perfectly with this soap so and again, there's the label right there. I took the label, I cut it out, and I fixed it into the bottom of the label, uh, the container because I didn't really want to cover up the air on top. So uh, these soaps are available for about they're roughly twelve ninety nine. I think this is what the price was on this. Uh, for and that that is usually for a five ounce soap uh, puck. This is actually a sample size. Uh, and again, it, she does offer menthol mentholated soaps, but this particular one isn't. That's fine because I have ways of mentholating soaps if I want to. But this one I'm going to leave as is because I want to give it a shot. Bare bones. All right. So let's take a minute. We're going to load this brush up, get the soap ready to go, and we'll go right into a head shave. We'll be right back. Mama Bears is a shaving and bath soap company that also makes men's colognes and beard oils. They not only specialize in custom cologne scents, they encourage them. They work hard to make sure their loyal customer base is happy. Made in the USA, straight out of Michigan, Mama Bears offers glycerin-based shave soap in a variety of scents. This one, Aromatic Pipe Tobacco, comes in a 5-ounce puck by itself for $12.99, or you can upgrade to a plastic tub for $14.99, or a wooden tub for $25.94. 
Three types of post-shave balm are offered and come in any of the scents you wish for around $24, depending on the one you choose. The site offers so many options when ordering soap. You can choose to order just the puck itself or have it put in one of the varieties of tubs that they offer. You can even choose whether or not to have a sticker to put on the tub itself. Ways to truly make your shaving experience all your own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As you can see, that's pretty well loaded. I can definitely feel the weight difference in this, and that's what it looks like afterwards. Um, it took me a little bit longer to load than I, I normally would. I, I just took my time, and, and I spent, I you know, normally spend about 15 seconds on a soap or so. Um, I sat there and just grinded this into that puck for a good minute, and uh, that worked out quite well. It, I'm not complaining by any means. It just is. So it smells still smells awesome i really like the way that this uh, scent is and i definitely like how strong it is i'm a heavy scent guy i like that and uh i i really appreciate this type of smells all right so let's get right into this let's wet the head all right let's see how she does Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Thank you very much for sticking with us here. The head shave has been completed, and we have DOP status. Dome of perfection. It is all finished. So, let's start with the post shave. A little bit of witch hazel. Peach scented crap. I don't like that peach. Anyway. All right. Witch Hazel's doing its thing. While that's doing its thing, let's talk about the rest of the shave. Again, pipe, amaretic, amaretic pipe tobacco is what we're doing here. Uh, I actually quite enjoy this soap. I thought it was, uh, I, I was surprised actually as, as well as how well it's been doing for me. I did it on my face once before and I, and I just did a head shave with it today. Um, I'm very, very impressed with it. I've not always had good luck with glycerin based soaps but i think that's a me thing i just you know i didn't spend as much time with the lather or making a lather and i kind of spent a little extra time with that kind of dialed in what i got to do to make that work with the with the glycerin based soaps and uh once i was able to do that i had no issues so uh that's what we're doing today as far as uh the shape is concerned we made a great lather i thought as you could see it wasn't very poofy but it was just slick. I had no irritation at all, no problems. The scent 
It was fantastic. The scent kind of, kind of wears off throughout the shave, I've noticed. Like, it stayed strong right up until the end. And right before that last pass, I mean, I am kind of a long shave, right before that last pass, it kind of faded a little bit, but whatever, that's fine. It's not a cologne, it's a shave soap. So I basically, I just rinsed out the container and there it is afterwards. And I'm going to put it aside and let it dry. And let that do its thing, cover it up a little bit later. So let's get into the after the shave with our complimentary scent. Ah, yes. Oh yeah, that's a nice compliment to this. It's perfect. I like finding things that, that don't aren't necessarily supposed to go together and just mashing them up like that because it it just adds to the experience, adds to the hobby and um, allows you to experiment with scent combinations. Not that this is really a huge combination because these two are pretty similar. So incidentally, if you do, or if you have tried Black Ship Grooming's um, uh, Captain's Pipe, this is very similar to it. So I, you know, you'll, if you like that, you'll like this as far as scent is concerned. So uh, I would try, I would, uh, if you have never tried a glycerin based soap, I would encourage it just to give it a shot, see what you think of it. Some people like them, some people don't, some people are indifferent. I actually like it. I think it works really well. I like the other cream, the cream-based soaps as well, but I do like this one, and I see no reason why I would not use a glycerin-based soap in the future. So anyway, that is the shave, and ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please do so, but make sure you knock the bell you knock that bell, you're going to get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaving. Folks, I am Chad. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you guys and girls in the next video.